So, let me get my pen going here. Okay, so I'm going to do two problems that are going to be very similar. Okay, so I'm still going to do like the one we did before that has a little shortcut so that, and again, I know the short, I can do the shortcut because the number in front of my x squared is a 1. So remember what I'm going to do here. I'm going to multiply the first number and the last number. So 1 times negative 8 is a negative 8. And again, how do I know it's a negative 8? Because it has it right there. So what I need to do is I need to come up with all the numbers that I know that multiply to negative 8. So we can say 1 and 8. And we can say 2 and 4, right? And I'll tell you what we'll do also. I'll put those same numbers down again here. 1 and 8, 2 and 4. And let's put the signs where they belong. So a negative and negative here. And let's try a negative and a negative there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look for the numbers that add up to the number negative 2. Okay. So <clears throat> if I were to just take, say, the first set of numbers. Negative 1 plus 8. If I owe you a dollar and I have 8, I'm left with 7. Negative 2 plus 4. If I owe you $2 and I have 4, I'm left with 2. Okay. 1 plus negative 8. If I have a dollar but I owe you 8, well now I owe you 7. And 2 plus negative 4. If I have $2 and I owe you 4, well then I owe you negative 2. So obviously the ones we want to use are going to be those right there, right? So then I would say, well, look, this is now going to factor into x and x, and we're going to go with a positive 2 and a negative 4, right? Okay, so let's do another problem, almost identical, okay? x squared, but now this is going to be a plus 2x minus 8, okay? Notice my numbers are the same with one slight difference in that this one here has a negative 2 and this one here has a positive 2. But my process is going to be the same. So when I multiply 1 times, again, negative 8, I'm still getting the same number, right? Negative 8. But now I want them to add up to a positive 2. Well, notice which ones add up to the positive 2, the negative 2 and the positive 4. So again, when I do my shortcut, x and x, then I'm going to go negative 2, positive 4.